one of our officers was dispatched to a motel room uh, for a woman who was having some emotional issues inside. The motel uh, staff wanted her to be removed from the room. Uh, so he arrived, uh, found her to be pretending to sleep on the bed. Uh, she immediately becomes uh, emotional, uh, stands up on the bed, starts jumping up and down, uh, acting like she's going to throw the remote control at him. Uh, the officer uh, deployed his bowl wrap, um, got a successful uh, torso wrap with one arm, uh, which immediately um, stunned her. Uh, de-escalated the situation. She's looking down at the device on her, trying to figure out exactly what it is. In fact, asked the officer, uh, you know, what it was. Uh, he was then able to get her onto the bed um, and then eventually uh, get her into custody. So, you know, it did exactly uh, what we believed it would do. Neither had any injuries or a minimal amount of force. You know, the officer uh, uh, kept her held down on the bed uh, until a second officer got there. They got her handcuffed uh, without any issues. We got a group of our supervisors and officers together and said, you know, what do you think? Is this device worth doing? And uh, each one of them said, this is something that I want to carry on our belt. Um, so we, you know, made the purchase, uh, bought enough wraps to outfit our patrol division uh, when they're out on the street. Um, and, you know, they're, they like having an extra tool on their, on their belt. Uh, we've circulated this video throughout uh, the department so everybody can see how it actually worked in the field. And, uh, you know, we're, the feedback we're getting from our rank and file is that, you know, this is a device they want to use and uh, an option they want to have. We had a great day here uh, with the training staff from RAP. Uh, you know, we, if, if you saw any of the footage of that day, we actually turned it into a bit of a media circus because we wanted to, to push this out there as early as we can to our community and elected officials. So we had uh, at our training, everyone from um, local police representatives, local elected officials, all the way up to United States congressmen uh, was actually there that day and used the device and were able to, uh, to do a training wrap. Uh, so our officers came out of that well-equipped, our trainers did to train the rest of our officers. Um, you know, I think during our training period, we, we had very uh, few uh, unsuccessful reps. And, uh, you know, like I said, the guys uh, liked it, they wanted to use it, and we moved forward with it. If we're able to, even the sound or the uh, use of the device disorients somebody for a moment's time, then we can take them into custody without resorting to uh, additional force. To me, that's a success. Uh, if, if we're able, you know, in this case, um, you know, it immediately took the person from a very, very agitated state down to where, you know, she's questioning what struck her. And that gave the officer more than enough time to get in, give her additional commands, get her down onto the bed. We didn't have to use any of the other devices, uh, you know, or weapons that we use. We didn't have to pepper spray her, um, you know, wasn't a pain compliance uh, situation. And, uh, you know, success is uh, not getting an officer hurt and not getting a suspect hurt and uh, everybody uh, going to where they need to be. We don't carry tasers. Uh, this is our first different device that we've ever carried. And so I was skeptical of this device even when we got it. But, you know, through the training and through the program and, and now through our first use, you know, uh, I'm even a stronger believer in this. Um, that we're able to accomplish these uh, arrests and um, uh, without using, you know, very, with using very minimal force and not relying on pain because everything else that we use, uh, whether it's pepper spray or a nightstick or hand-on tactics, most of the time they rely on pain. And, you know, the important part here is, you know, you never, in this video, you never heard the woman say, ouch. Uh, you never said, heard her say she was hurt. She had no wounds on her whatsoever. Uh, so we were able to uh, take her into custody, no pain to her, no injuries to the officers. Again, a successful outcome with, uh, you know, without the need for medical care or decontamination or anything else that we would have used with any other tool. We don't believe it's a use of force either. Uh, we define it as a remote restraint device, um, uh, you know, as it is. So uh, it's just uh, another technique to take somebody into custody with uh, without using force. So it's, a, it's on our hierarchy or, or use of force continuum before force even begins. We were waiting for this first use. Um, we have a lot of opportunities. We have a lot of hotels. We have a lot of uh, um, 
people with emotional issues uh, staying at those hotels. So I, I think this is uh, going to open us up to more use now that uh, the officers have seen that it one will work and two that it um, you know isn't causing any injury to either themselves or the other person. Uh, probably in that case, in in my mind, in my opinion, and talking to the officer that did it. Uh, you know, he went for the torso wrap, the arm wrap, because uh, he was worried about wrapping her in the lower extremities because she was in a uh, position where she could have been prone to fall off of that bed. Um, so, you know, I think he made good decisions all around and, uh, you know, we had a successful outcome and that's all that really matters. I think the shock and awe of it and the sound and, and in this case, when you watch the full video, you know, you can see that she's really hyped up. Uh, we deploy the bowl wrap. She calms down. She's looking down at it. She's trying to figure out what it is. Uh, she doesn't stay that way long. Uh, you know, the officer moves in, engages with her, and she's right back to the to the amped up individual she was. But at that point, you know, the officer has her restrained. Uh, you know, basically, there, there's no fight left at that point. So, you know, it it, it worked fantastic. Again, you know, even if it wouldn't have been a, a complete wrap, if we didn't get a, a secure it would have disoriented her enough to uh, for the officer to move in and, and take her into custody.